Hi Virgos, welcome to your December reading. Thank you for tuning in. I hope all is well out there and I want to wish all of you a happy holiday season. Um, really quickly, I added a meditation on the end of this video. So if you are interested in the meditation, you can just stay tuned till the end. Um, I won't do a extended on this one for you know this month because i'm working on the yearlies as well and i need to create some space somewhere but if you are on my patreon if you're part of the patreon family then i'll definitely surprise you guys with some other content out there so no worries um yes virgo eclipse today i feel this energy is like completely clear for some reason there is this space that's being opened and for you guys it's like in your 10th house so that's like career money uh finances but most of all just your career and connected to your purpose basically redefining that for yourself and it's not just today or this month it definitely is will stick with you for the next coming months and it will help you maybe really um you know create a big transformation in that area for your life so that's very powerful um i feel for some of you actually go from working for a company to like working from home and then actually really enjoying that and creating space to maybe come up with something else that you can do from home so you might actually switch your career from working for a company to actually having and owning your own business um for the rest you might see some changes happening by the end of the year and you know january and the people you keep close around you there might be some shifts and changes in that as well but um that's personal for uh, everyone so let's just get an overall angel message for you well damn 10 of emotion definitely a shift and change in that life is blessing you with a wonderful and loving family great happiness and emotional fulfillment are now on the horizon for you harmony with those you love is assured by offering forgiveness understanding and kindness to others you are rewarded with an unconditional love wow virgo that's powerful so are there some people maybe that you know could use a second chance or actually um maybe you guys grow both separately and now you can actually connect on a new deeper level i mean we all had that maybe with if you have sim siblings you might have moments in time where you're really tight or like completely each other's opposite and then around you know somewhere in your 20s you kind of sort of reconnect and find a new balance in that and going from having a sister somewhere to like actually having you know a bff in your sister or in your brother or in an other family member just reconstructing energy and by opening up your energy for them and um in a new creative way try to establish that for you and other people you might actually find yourself um you know receiving some really beautiful new connections with people that you might have put on a different list you see and of course some people don't ever change <laughs> but you'll know if it is connecting to you or not but definitely by offering forgiveness and understanding so compassion um, and kindness to others you are rewarded with unconditional love maybe you're extending kindness and forgiveness to someone that then just moves on and you're mo you're moving on as well but that actually might open your heart again for someone to come in and give you and extend you that unconditional love some of you uh, find it in you know uh, other things maybe um you know pregnancy or in another way fur babies and things like that could also be an option but it's just receiving that unconditional love and feeling connected to uh, a group of people or someone in your surrounding on a deeper level that's how I'm, what i'm feeling with this card and definitely definitely connects to the astrology for you guys as well but let's see what the tarot has to say what i just i'm just very curious of what these um eclipses are gonna bring to you virgo so let's just tune into that virgo for the month of december three of cups definitely that's that energy of surrounding yourself with equals with people you know who are um who you know very well just connecting socializing 
I'm hearing like, what's the scoop? Okay, <laughs> what's the latest scoop in the family maybe? Um, but overall, Three of Cups, feeling connected again. You're out there, you're seeing, you're connecting, you're uh, socializing, and it's good, it's healthy. You know, with balance, of course, but you are starting to get more out there again. Three of Cups, so beautiful nine of cups you're receiving that sense of satisfaction and fulfillment from these connections okay that might actually be a surprise to you because you might find a great you know uh you know uh, contentment from just spending some time by yourself but that might sh shift for you five of pentacles okay what's up with that five of pentacles the six of pentacles yeah Coming out of a feeling that everyone might be against you to like actually receiving that help or receiving that love. So five of pentacles with six of pentacles and then a nine of pentacles. I mean, that's some glow up right there. All right, that's some leveling up. It goes from... I feel strongly and I'm just going to tune into that for a little bit. Five of Pentacles is a big part is your mindset. Just like the Five of Cups, it's like where you decide or where you feel that your focus is on and that you feel the strongest. The Five of Pentacles as well is that sometimes it's feeling a lack in one area of your life. It doesn't always have to represent feeling left out by a person or financially. It can mean multiple things. It could also mean that you might have had some health issues and you're receiving some help in that health issues and you're actually, you know, finding yourself back into alignment of feeling that self-confidence in your own body again. So that's something that's also an option with the five pentacles. But from five to six is very positive because you're actually evolving out of that. You're growing and, and moving through that energy just to collect the... Um, you know the lessons from it and then actually move into a happier healthier state for yourself again so five pentacles to six and then a nine means that it's leveling up like you make a difference there you make a shift here something is changing because you um there's something that came into your life that actually extended that to you whether it's a physical person could be something else which is something that got you out of this focus on your you know your health or your finances or just you know getting you out of that energy that was that gift to you and then you really instantly there was this shift or that's december what december will do for you you felt up and you know going and then you might actually felt yourself in a more lower period i don't know if you are suffering from depression or um you know anxiety or anything in that direction like it can just come even if you're feeling like you know i'm, I'm doing good but you kind of already notice like your energy level is going down and you start to feel a little drained and when you're really in the depth of it that's mostly the moment where you realize oh i actually slipped down these next couple of weeks or these last couple of months and i didn't notice it you know i was so focused on other things sometimes it's not because horrible things happen and that got you in depression or everything is wrong something is sometimes it's just your mind and your body that goes there it depends on multiple factors you see but you're getting out of it again which i love to see and you just, just start to feel like a you know a more evolved version of self this is too, these are too many cards so i'm gonna put them back in i'm gonna shuffle one more time virgo for the month of december what do you guys got for virgo for the month of december it's coming in the beautiful queen of wands wow that is talking about leveling up and a glow up nine of pentacles with the queen of wands virgo i like to see you in this energy definitely ten of wands ten of cups now that is a shift of frequency both of the 10, but the complete opposite of one another. I'm going to get some more cards and I'm going to jump in deeper into it. All right. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, Virgo. 
This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Beautiful. All right. It might actually deepen a connection with someone. Like I said, that bonding goes deeper. It could be a love connection, but it doesn't have to be necessarily. But that's like a deeper and a more evolved connection. So a offer, you know, for example, you are dating someone and then you decide let's move in together. That's the next step of commitment. It's a deeper level of commitment. Um, and you see like it really is like a wish coming true okay there's something you want and it's, it's coming towards you and it's making you feel really good about where you are in life um who you're with who you're surrounding yourself with you just feel at home in the life that and the uh, reality that you've created that's what i'm hearing there is a element here with the ten of wands is that not everything has to be perfect in order to, for it to be beautiful and in order for it to be you know perfect and it does sound a little bit double i know but that's how i feel it's like happiness doesn't come from having everything perfect in alignment at the same time it is a mindset it is understanding a deeper meaning of what is truly important and life really teaches you that this is a cycle you're in of understanding that yes yeah, certain things are very aesthetically pleasing and it makes you happy but sometimes it gives you extremely back pain or sear you know certain parts of your body are not you know are just overworked in order for it to be that aesthetically pleasing for example uh, cleaning the house or something like that so self-sacrificing in order to set to satisfy one part of self and it's about letting certain things flow and keeping it in balance in order for it to work as a whole and to let things flow naturally and to have some spontaneous uh, some spontaneous spontaneous energy around it like surprise elements is actually really healthy and it's it's making you feel more rich because there's like instead of collecting a foundation of materialistic and financial groundedness and one sec because i need to breathe because my <laughs> my breath was off so i couldn't really speak the right way anyway what i'm feeling with this is that understanding that certain things can look perfect on the outside but feel so empty on the inside that's a shift there's a change in there you're making a commitment to what you've learned you know in 2020 uh, 2020 really teach you something and those lessons you take into this new year i do see a big shift happening there the star card with the world card really indicates that so you have a ten of cups it just is an ending of the hard work you put in you might actually have endless cycles of extending your energy giving 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 and not being able to really receive with an open heart it almost like felt like a heaviness on receiving that um love and for some of you you really got something in your life and you were so afraid of losing it again it started to feel like a burden so there are some shifts and changes happening right there so um yeah it's a soul healing it's a soul journey it's a balancing of the scales basically but you come out so very strongly virgo with the beautiful nine of pentacles and the queen of wands it's a, that's the energy we're looking for okay <laughs> the hierophant could be dealing with a taurus a fellow earth sign again too many cards i just want one or two okay this is the one this is the two six of swords with the beautiful knight of cups so moving in from rough waters 
into calmer waters and extending an apology you might extend an apology or the person extends an apology to you it doesn't it's not like okay who's right who's wrong in the situation it's not more like i'm offering a peace offer like you know i don't want this energy but i'm sorry I got cut off um, I don't want this energy between us anymore and I need some inner peace and then you being the bigger person extending it first but it's not for the other person it's for yourself and so you can move forward and not have this energy so heavy on yourself you might actually feel like you, ha you are in charge of something and that might not be the right thing for you anymore it might get, take more from you than give to you I do see really an offer of deeper commitment like i don't know if you guys are uh, in a situation where that is that's an option but then if it is it definitely is going to happen soon yeah it's like you receiving great gifts and again that's just in alignment with the angel message as well you receive a gift from the ace of pentacles it's like here you go this is the gift you receive from actually making this decision offering forgiveness kindness and compassion i'm going to extend you know in trade of that i'm going to give you this unconditional love which is worth that which is priceless right and feeling that love it really hypes up um your confidence in yourself and really um start up this whole healing process and getting out of this energy and actually transforming out of it when you're in a hard time it's not about oh now you're in a hard time and that's your end destination no it's teaching you a lot and uh, mostly it has a lot to do with how much you love and value your sense of self and it's not happening to you it's happening for you because they want you to evolve in that area for yourself and for you know your happiness all right that is not the right direction <laughs> One more card for Virgo, please. One more card for Virgo. Beautiful. Nine of Pentacles. So a long overdue. You waited for something for quite some time. And that's what's happening now. That's what's coming in for you. So it's very powerful. Right. I'm going to give you an affirmation for the month of December. One card for Virgo, please. An affirmation for my Virgos. An affirmation. Ooh, that came with the entire deck. But it's this card. It keeps doing that to me today. I don't know. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender some more or I surrender more. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. So becoming aware of understanding what this means to you and how you can come out of that. You surrender to the divine timing, not feeling like things are happening to you, but things are happening for you. And just overall, when you think you surrender, but yet you have still put all these responsibilities on yourself, you have to surrender some more. So when you are aware of surrendering, releasing it to your angels or releasing it to fate, with fate, basically, you are automatically surrendering more. And that's what's coming in. So surrender is very important allowing it to come in as is when you tried everything to change it but nothing is moving that's the moment where you surrender you let things go to the universe you just allow the universe to bring in a solution or bring a change in the situation and surrendering in that fate you know with the higher fin as well that's what brings in the change sometimes we have to accept we cannot control everything and even if we will put in everything we got the the situation will move but it will move the moment you are not trying to change it in the moment knowing that you want to heal know, knowing that you want to evolve and transform out of it knowing you want the situation to be over but understanding that right now isn't it's not happening and surrendering to that and just accepting the situation as is for the time being and not focusing on constantly wanting to change it that's when the when the change is happening that's when it comes in that's what i strongly feel for you it's about surrendering to that easing into that and finding happiness in another area or in another way maybe it's really nice to having a situation not be resolved yet but to actually not give so many f's about it in that very moment or it's like for example it's sunday 
and there's some situation you kind of have to fix but it's not possible like because the first you can only call on monday till fridays and you need to speak some, to someone try to understand that today is sunday i cannot for the life of me do anything to change the situation but what i can do is change my energy and my focus and i can make this the most relaxed or fun sunday i possibly can and tomorrow nine o'clock in the morning the first thing i'll do is get back to that situation then you're not letting it ruin your entire sunday you will get to it but you surrender to the timing of getting it fixed and it takes away all the power it holds over you until the next morning and then you can take your personal power by fixing the problem and that's something sometimes it's so powerful even in the little things you do it can make the biggest difference in the bigger picture because you train your brain to go towards the surrendering phase and not letting it have all the power over you and with that drain you and get you back into a poor health because if you are dealing with um, anything that has to do with your nerve system and you let, allow that thing to stress you out that entire Sunday for example it will affect the health or the, your nervous system for the rest of the week it will have an effect it just does and I'm speaking out of experience it's not I'm just making it up I know for a fact that, that is what happens to your nerve system anyway I think that that's all the messages I see beautiful things coming for you Virgo a lot of growth a lot of healing and I think you know a lot of satisfaction nine of cups nine of pentacles you get the ten of cups to share it with someone unconditional love so powerful and healing first you must give that to yourself all right Virgo I'm going to jump into this meditation which might actually help you with this I think yeah I think it could actually help you but it's free thing you know if you're not into meditations then it's totally fine I will love you the same and I will but I also would love to see you join me on the meditation all right I love you Virgo have a nice month and uh, I'll be up with, well the yearlies will be up soon for now um, have a beautiful day bye Virgos welcome to this meditation part of the reading thank you so much for taking the time to tune in here so today I have today I have someone who wants to talk to you guys who has a message for you and so I want to take you on this journey to receive the message all right it's a special type of meditation and it just came to me so I wanted to share it with you guys all right let's first get comfortable let's just find a place where we can sit or lay down relax where nothing really needs our immediate attention maybe put your phone on silence for a little bit and if that is not the right moment right now then maybe come back to this meditation on a later time all right let's just first start with taking some deep breaths just take it in through the nose and blow out through the mouth all right Find a comfortable place and tune into your own physical body. Just become aware of how you're feeling. Do you feel discomfort anywhere? Try to, you know, place your body in a way where you feel com comfortable and supported. Now is the time to close your eyes if you're comfortable with that. If not, you can also keep them open. And continuing focusing on your breathing. You also may breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose, or maybe repeat it out through the mouth for a couple more times, whatever you 
feel guided to do. Imagine yourself waking up. Waking up in a beach house. You can hear the sounds of the ocean in the background. You can feel the warmth of the sun touching your face. There's this beautiful sensation of inner peace. You feel rested and you feel relaxed. You decide to get out of the bed and walk towards the open slide doors towards the garden. While you step out of the house into the garden, you are amazed by all these beautiful colors, beautiful flowers and plants that are growing. While you're continuing walking through this garden, you can feel the grass underneath your bare feet, it's soft and warm. While you make your way through this garden, you notice someone sitting in the distance. You walk towards the bench where a person is sitting and as you come close, you can see a beautiful bright golden light surrounding this person and as you look at her you feel this familiar sensation like you know this person she looks up and invites you to come and sit next to her as you sit down you notice her smile and her energy. She says, I've been expecting you. She takes your hand and the moment she touch your hand, you can feel this sensation of unconditional love running through your body. She says, you are love, you are light, you are very important and I am so proud of you. You look up and smile. She says, Stay true to yourself and love yourself and don't forget that I always walk beside you and you are never alone and if you ever need help just ask me. She walks up towards the ocean. As you see her walk towards the ocean, you can feel this pull. Something is calling you. You decide to leave the bench and walk back into the garden where you can feel the grass underneath your bare feet and you can hear the bees zooming in the back and the ocean waves rushing onto shore. You walk into the beach house, take a deep breath in, and take a deep breath out. As I ring the bell, 
you come back into the here and into the now. Welcome back. You can open your eyes if you're ready. Just relax. So, if you will ever have a moment where you feel lonely in this month of December because of circumstances or because you miss someone, know that you are not alone. We are all one, we are all connected. And we all have an amazing team surrounding us. So, go up, shine your light this month be kind to yourself be kind to others and allow some beautiful things to come to your pathway this month i love you so much and thank you for joining this meditation namaste i see you i love you and i'll see you at the next one bye